Hey guys, welcome back and happy 2019. It is the first day of the new year. Um, so let's just get into it quick. I posted a video a few days ago of the rubber shorts that I was working on. And in the video, I posted, uh, I shared, I posted, I showed the rubber shoes that I had done, which are just really a shoe cap. They're not a full shoe. Um, and these are just a test to test the, the material, and I think it's really good, so I'm kind of excited about this stuff. But, again, just a test. I probably will put these on the RE7 Droid or something for the time being, but this isn't really what I wanted to do. Um, but I got probably twice as many messages about the shoes as I did the shorts that I was doing. So people were like, oh, can I get a pair of those shoes? And I'm not really making these yet. Uh, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you may have seen that I've been trying to make a, a full shoe. It's just kind of an ongoing, slow process. And uh, I took the molds that I used to make these, and I did a clay pour, and then retouched all the detail, made sure everything's nice and crisp and sharp. Um, I extended the ankle a little bit and extended the sole down so that it was just a little bit uh, a little bit deeper, which would give more room for a foot inside, just a little bit because these are quite fitted on me. So again, I'm making these for me. If people can wear them, great. But I started these a long time ago. I have the other foot here as well. <clears throat> the clay sculpt, they've been sitting around forever getting dusty, basically ready to mold the top at this point. But right about the time that I was gonna start making these, those 3D files for the Dawn post suit came online. So it made me kind of reconsider some things and on how I was gonna make these. So. I have a new plan, I have a new plan. So those clay sculpts, I might not, ever, might not ever use them. But what I'm gonna do is try to do a, a digital version. I'm gonna create the mold and everything in the computer and do it as a 3D printed part that I will mold and then make full castings. It will be a full shoe with the sole. Everything is one piece. So um, let's go into ZBrush and look at how I'm gonna do that. Okay, so here we are in ZBrush. We are looking at one of the right feet that I've started to mod from the uh, Dawn Post scans. Now, I have extended the sole just a tiny little bit and made it cleaner and evened it out. Uh, I've added some treads on the bottom. I will be extending this, uh, this top piece here. However, I have not yet for this demo. It doesn't matter. So everything you're seeing, by the way, on this whole ZBrush thing is kind of an experiment so I could figure out what method I wanted to use. So everything's going to be redone and I may do a video on that whole process. But anyway, back to this. So we have a right foot here and the scans came with a left foot. However, the left foot is not a left foot. It's actually a right foot that's been copied. On the real C-3PO costume, the right foot and the left foot are asymmetrical. The detail on the tops is different. So you can tell that the other one's just a copy because all the stuff is just reversed or mirrored, I should say. So I've got a little bit of a, a dilemma, conundrum here. Not really a big deal. I think it's going to be kind of good. I'm going to recreate the right foot properly with the proper detail. It's not, a, not mirrored. However, I am going to mirror the overall shape so that both the shoes feel the same because I, I don't like that feeling of one shoe looser than the other kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to make the shoes themselves will be symmetrical, but the detail will be asymmetrical. And how I'm going to do that is I've broken out the um, the piping detail here. So it's a separate piece. I will create the overall shoe shape. Shoe shape. That's fun to say. Uh, to the best of my ability, make it really clean and good. Right now it's still in a bit of a rough state. And low res, I've turned the resolution way down. And once this is correct, I will mirror all of this detail to make my right foot. And I'll make a new set of piping detail for the right foot, I'm sorry, for the left foot that uh, matches the screen use suits. So the shoes will feel the same, but they will still look accurate when wearing. Now, we're gonna get into the fancy fun part, how I'm gonna produce this shoe. So, I'm gonna turn this on. I am going to print the whole thing just like this with this weird tab on the top and everything. We'll get into what this is going to be for. Um, this is also going to change, by the way, which I'll explain later. But um, we're printing this whole thing, and this will get all cleaned up. I'm going to clean up all the detail, make it nice and pretty, and that'll be my master part. I'll do it for each foot. And then 
this will correspond with the mother mold that I'm working on. So I'm doing a 3D printed mother mold. So we've got a one half here, and there's another half for the other side. You can see we've got the cavity around here, which we then fill with silicone, like so. I'll turn off the front so we can see, and the silicone will basically fill that cavity. And um, let me turn off the, the pieces down here so we can look inside. And we will have a, a mold like this. So we got a mother mold, two 3D printed left and right side filled with silicone. And you'll see in the top here, we've got a hole that matches with our peg that was sticking out of the top of the shoe. Now that is for the core. So we'll turn the core on. And the core looks like this. It's kind of like a smoothed out, slightly smaller version of the foot. And what this is going to do is going to control the thickness of the inside of the shoe, which means that instead of rotocasting and getting drips or getting pools of resin that collect in the toes and so forth, all of the shoes will be completely consistent on the inside, which will be really nice and make it much easier to make the shoe. Uh, and, and it'll be much more comfortable inside. There won't be weird little burrs and boogers and all that stuff going on. So it'll be a, a core that is always there. So when we put the mold back together, silicone, let's turn everything back on. Uh, there we go. Um, there you can see inside here, there's a little space around the core. That is where all of our resin will go. And you might be wondering about the sole of the shoe. Well, the sole of the shoe is not going to have any silicone at all. The sole will be um, just like this, except not like that. Just like this. It's going to be... A piece that bolts on. You can see these are tapered bolt holes. So bolt holes. That's another one that's fun to say. They will key into the top and then you can put a little nuts through there. Nuts and bolts to hold everything together if you want. Um, and you can see I put little air vents all around the treads and then there's a pour spout here. So when everything is back together, the mold will be put upside down like this. The resin will pour in through here, blah, 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 fill the mold, and then we will get our shoe, which should look about like this. This would be this represents what the resin will look like. So you can see there's a thickness to it. It's hollow inside. If I cut it in half, you can see the, the cross section. And we can tell how thick it's going to be, which is a, a really good feature of doing it this way. Because you can check and make sure it's thick enough or thin enough wherever you want before you actually uh, create the final piece. It's very handy. And... If you go through the trouble of making this and the core needs to be adjusted, you can reprint a new core without reprinting the whole mold, which is very, very nice. It helps control everything. So let's go back to that core. So there it is. It'll key in. Again, this key is going to get adjusted. I had a, an epiphany as I was doing this that I think there's a better way. So we'll get into that in a minute. Um, but yeah, that's the overall look at how I'm going to do this. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything here. Um, but there's kind of what the end result will look like. Hollow shoe, consistent to make. You may be, how do you get it out? The core. So let's look at this too. Um, basically, once you take the shoe out of the mold, it will look like this. The core will be inside, and you'll cut the back, just like the real movie suit shoes, open it up, and pull the core out. And because that's going to have to pull out, it might have to make a little bit of an adjustment right in this area just to give a little bit more room for the core to be removed. However, it might be okay as is. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm going to have to do a little experimenting here. A couple things that I'm probably going to change in the, the next version is I may actually make a little pre-cut slice in here where the shoe will cut, maybe even the holes for the laces if, if that's the way to go, or maybe a, a piece for the Velcro, like an inset on the inside where the Velcro will fit. Uh, I'm going to figure that out before the next version, taking notes here. I'm also going to be changing how this flange works on the side so that the flange is going to be much smaller and the silicone will go almost to the edge and then the keyed bolts will go through the silicone as well. We'll get into that next one. It sounds confusing when I talk about it now, but anyway, that is kind of the deal. This is my test, my test run of this part. I did this simply to figure out how I would set this whole thing up and 
when I do the next version, um, I will videotape the whole thing. So you guys can see it if you want. So hopefully that's informative to some of you. Um, if you're interested, leave a comment below and let me know and I will make a video of the entire process when I do the final version so you can see how I break the mold apart in ZBrush and how I create all the pieces. Um, again, if you're interested, let me know. I will just videotape the whole thing. It'll be a, like a 90 minute long video of me just futzing around in there. Um, once they're done, all these files, the final version, again, I'm not, not in any rush to do these, so they'll happen when they happen, but I will post them all on Thingiverse, the full mold assembly and everything, so if somebody else wants to make these, they can. Uh, if you don't want to go through the trouble and you want to get a set of shoes for me once they're done, um, I may be able to offer them. I'll have to see once I get them finished to make sure that they actually uh, are as easy for me to make as, as I think they're going to be. If they're not, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. We'll see. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. Happy New Year, and we will see you kids soon.